Now at this point, it's time to mention some of the notational conventions. If you read those old calculus books, you're going to notice a preference for vector notation. Instead of one forms, you're going to see things like the integral of f dot dr, where f is your vector field, and r is a position vector, and dr is kind of like a, a vector of differentials. They'll call these line integrals. Even when you're integrating over a curvy sort of path, this is the way people in physics tend to denote these. And the old calculus books written from a physics perspective use that notation. In contrast, we're going to predominantly use the notation of one forms. This is the way that mathematicians tend to denote things, tend to think about things. Now, they're equivalent, and no one notation is necessarily better than the other. The old-fashioned vector notation is perfectly fine for doing integrals, for getting answers. In my opinion, the notation and perspectives of one forms is somewhat preferable for understanding what it is that you're doing. But we're going to use both of these from time to time. Now, at this point, you may be wondering, what's the fuss? What, are you picking on the physicists? No, we're all friends here. But one forms are great because they are generalizable. This is just the beginning of what we're going to see when we climb to the top of it all. If you stay on this path, you will see how far we go.